The Synthesis of Dibenzyl Acetone Attention! Sodium hydroxide is caustic. Acetone is highly flammable, can cause irritation of the eyes, drowsiness and dizziness. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. For the synthesis, 5 grams of sodium hydroxide are dissolved in 50 milliliters of distilled water and 40 milliliters of ethanol. Then the beaker is covered and left to sit until it has cooled down. A temperature of around 20 degrees C would be perfect. When the solution has cooled down, 5.4 grams of freshly distilled benzaldehyde and 1.5 grams of acetone are mixed in a small beaker and the beaker is covered airtight with some foil as long as it is not in use. Due to practical reasons, the level of half of the volume of the mixture was marked on the beaker. Then the thermometer was placed in the beaker of the first solution and the first half of the mixture of acetone and benzaldehyde was added. It is then stirred for 15 minutes while taking care that the temperature stays between 20 and 25 degrees C. Within a few minutes the solution turns yellow and then a precipitate is formed. The following reactions take place. Acetone is a CH acidic compound which is why it can be deprotonated by a strong base like the sodium hydroxide. This causes the enolate to form. The enolate is able to attack the carbonyl carbon of the benzaldehyde and the aldol is formed. After a dehydration took place, benzyl acetone is formed which is also a CH acidic compound and can be deprotonated again by the base. The formed enolate again attacks the carbonyl carbon of a benzaldehyde molecule and after the aldol, dibenzyl acetone is formed which is hardly soluble in water. While the reaction took place, the temperature did rise to 23.5 degrees C. After the 15 minutes, the rest of the mixture of benzaldehyde and acetone was added. This time it was stirred for 30 minutes. When the temperature reached 24 degrees C, the reaction mixture was cooled with a water bath. After that the temperature did not rise further than right above 24 degrees C. After 30 minutes the reaction is finished and the precipitate is filtered off. The residue was washed out of the beaker with a bit of water. Then the product was washed with water until the pH of the filtrate became neutral. After that it seems as if the product is dry but it still contains a lot of water. Because of that it can be washed with ethanol at the end which removes a lot of the water and leads to a cleaner product. Nevertheless this also reduces the yield. The product can be recrystallized from ethanol, acetone or ethyl acetate. If it is recrystallized from ethyl acetate it has to be dried at first. When a precipitate is formed immediately after removing the heat, more ethanol has to be added and it has to be heated again. Then it should precipitate slower and crystals should form. The dibenzyl acetone is then filtered off and washed with some ethanol.
If the product behaves like this after recrystallizing and drying it, it should be recrystallized again. Four point three grams of dibenzyl acetone were obtained, which is a yield of seventy one percent. In the literature, it is said that even ninety five percent are possible. This was the synthesis of dibenzyl acetone. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.